Hi, Glenn here, Ola Monte Gardens. Got a little something to share with you on a Sunday. Uh, just wanted to show you this. This is a little rig we have rigged up. 55 gallon aquarium. Uh, we can pump water up to here. If I pump water up to here, and I fill this up, when this fills up, then this fills up. When that fills up, it fills up to that overflow tube there that you see. Now, if I open up this siphon, which I have, this is a defeater. If I close it, no air can get in. And then it's a regular siphon. Notches at the bottom, air tube on the right, that. So I'm just going to set this here. What I want to show you here, now, whoop, now I just knocked off my air tube. That's not too good. So much for that demo being without any problems, huh? Just stick that back up there for just a second here. Uh -huh. Little tap tap. Okay, so put that back in here. I'm going to close, I'm going to, I want to reach over here and grab a coffee cup. I'm going to grab this coffee cup. And I want to show you, I'm going to pour the water in here. When I pour the water in here, I'm going to show you the water is going to come out down there. You see that? So I'm going to take up this water, I'm going to pour it in there, and it's going to come out there. All right? Now, let that settle down. Now, here's the entertaining part, folks. So you see we're all primed to go. Our cinder biofilter is full. This is full. There you go. We have nothing running. I'm going to reach up, and I'm going to close the shutoff valve. So now no air can get in there. Now, if I reach over here, I take a coffee cup of water, right? If I take that and I pour that into here, right? Watch this, folks. This siphon is going to go off. Now, is that cool or what? So we've got it down that I can start a siphon with a cup of water. So the whole problem I think people have is they don't have this little end piece down here on the bottom. And I want to show you that. I'm going to pull it off. I'm going to step out here in the light a little bit better. And I want to show you just one inch piece of pipe. And down at the bottom of it, I glued it to a cap. So it's one inch piece of pipe to one and a half inch cap. And I've cut some notches in there. Okay? I'm going to pour the water out. You see in there okay? So it's just going straight down. And it's in there. Now here's how it works. That cap's full of water. If the cap's full of water, if I step over here and dip up some water for you, dip up some water there, if I do that, you see the water is the valve. It blocks the air loop there. So do that again just to show you. So any water coming down is going to bubble. And when the bubbles come out, that creates a partial vacuum, and that will set off your siphon. So I'm going to walk back over here. I'm going to reinstall it. It just sticks in the bottom. Do it. If I kick on the pump over here, we're going to turn on the water, and I want to show you that most people are running water like this, you know, maybe 75 to 100 gallons an hour. I also wanted to share this with you. We do this. This is your pump. We install a, a fitting in there, a T fitting, with two water valves, one going out the side, and I can have one going out the top. By opening these valves, I can control the water flow up at the top. I'm going to close both of them for just a second. Oh, that made some noise. Here, I try to do this one-handed. I love doing that one-handed. Okay, I'm going to close that. What you're going to see if I do that, I get a pretty serious flow. On the other hand, folks, if I reach over here, if I open up the bypass on this one, I'm going to cut it down quite a bit, a much more reasonable flow, okay? But let's say you want to have ultimate control. If I open up this top one here, I can take this water down to next to nothing. Really slow, real, real, real slow, okay? Where I'm just dribbling it out. Now most people would not try to start a siphon with something that small, okay? So I've got my little air thing is closed, which is where it stays most of the time. And if you look inside there, you'll see the standpipe. You know, the water's coming up to the standpipe that you got there. Now, as this water, with this piddly amount of flow now, comes here, it'll start overflowing here. And you'll see bubbles start to come. And the bubbles will create the partial vacuum in the tube up above. Now, you see the bubbles coming out? That's all important. I need the bubbles to come out and not let air back in. So this little guy's going to bubble out and she will create a partial vacuum. By the way, we timed that 
that is uh, one gallon in uh, what was it? One gallon a minute. That's a, now you come up here. Now we got our partial vacuum. That was your standpipe down there. You've raised it up to there. Okay. So off you're going to the racetrack. Okay. When I get down to my air brake, I'll get a quick and sudden air brake. And here we come. Bingo. She drops right down. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy that. Just go and make this up. Take an inch and a half cap. Glue in a one inch piece of pipe, cut some notches in with a hacksaw or your table saw, whatever you got, and just make this device. No more T's, no more 45's, no more sweet angle. This sets the level for the trip point. So, take care from Hawaii. This is Glenn at Ola Monte Gardens, wishing you having a good Sunday.